So I wasn't going to bother videoing this, but I thought, ah, what the hell, I might as well let it on and tack it on to the existing video. So this is the Fluke 343A, which I did the binding post on the last video. And um, I'm going to tack this on the end. And um, basically what I'm doing is putting these Pomona um, binding posts on to replace these cheap ones which I purchased because I was just trying to find ones which would work at the time. And um, seeing as they were, they were all broken. So I'm just going to pull these out. I'm still taking the other ones out, man. I just want to prove I'm actually doing it. Because, <laughs> you know, people probably do, oh no, you didn't do that, it didn't bother. But, uh, anyway, so here you go. It's proof I'm taking the old binding posts out. Which I'll, I'll use them on something else, not a complete waste, I'll use them on something. And um, so I'll replace them with these Pomona ones. And I'm just getting here, take them off. So unfortunately, I can't um, replace the earth binding post because the um, it's green and I couldn't get a green one so if I get a green one later on then I'll, I'll change it but um, if I can find a green one later on I'll change it rather it's probably less critical but um, yeah, it's just the right thing to do so. Okay, that's those out. So start putting the new ones in. I don't lose the bits. <laughs> it's gone on the floor of doom. I have to come back after I found it. Okay, I found a bit, so it's not lost at least. So uh, this one's, I'm not quite sure there's one loose and the rest are inside a little bag, it's a bit strange, but anyway. Um, so that's the one on there. So that's what I go through that way, and it's got the locking washer and the nut there, which I was to go under the back of that. So let's feed this through. Hopefully get it in lined up. Push this tab out the way as well. I'm to do it from the opposite side, it's all a bit awkward get in oh, hold on a second this is ridiculous by the way right. let's do this way it's a little bit awkward but uh, a bit of a tighter fit than the other ones were come on as it is. No, it's not. There we go. Very fiddly. Okay, so yeah. Anyway, get this in. Now this is supposed to orientate a certain way around. So we can get it to sit the way it's supposed to sit. Hopefully I can. sure the flat is on that. Can't see it. There we go, I think it's just popped in. Right. Come on, in you go. Right. <sighs> That's one almost on. <laughs> I'll come back after I've done some more. I'm sure you don't want to see my painful experience. Alright, so I'm just attaching the second to last one now. Um, so, well, yeah. <laughs> it's a bit fiddly, but it's okay. Um, these aren't as easy to fit as the as the actual the cheap ones I'd put on um, before. These were a bit harder to get lined up right and um, actually in place. So it's, that itself is quite interesting. But um, just ignore my slightly senile cat, she's meowing. Hopefully, you can't hear her, but she's, she goes and sits at doors and meows at them, or walls. Um, sits here meowing at walls, or scratches cupboards, or scratches walls, or scratches. Actually, one of the favourite things she does is goes in the bathroom and scratches on the um, 
on the shower door, the, the glass door. She sits there scratching at it, trying to get in, even though there's nothing there. She's a bit odd, anyway. Um, we should do some videos of that. She might get some cat videos. <laughs> anyway, let's see how we go. You can see, we're using a proper spanner now. I've got one to fit. Okay, so nice and tight. So let's put one more to put on. My ring's itching. Interesting. My finger, my finger, no other kind of ring. Right. I'll specify that some people out there which might uh, uh, misconstrue it. Anyway. But every single one of these has had the. Um, this particular piece separate to the rest of the stuff in the bag. It's really weird. I don't know why they've done it like that. There must be a reason. I just find it a bit strange. Anyway, uh, let's go through there. This one should be the easiest one to put on because the wires aren't in the way. It's a nice easy wire to move out the way. It's easy to get to. I better put that to watch a wire on. Eh? That'd be helpful. I'll put the washer on. You know I'm saying how easy it is. <laughs> Alright, there you go. Yeah. Part of the problem is that these little tabs that are on here are about the same size as the shaft, so they're actually screwing on. So I've got to try and get the um, insulators lined up onto the, the notches on the, the D-shaped holes to get those to fit properly. At the same time as doing that and getting it all lined up. And, yeah, anyway, that's not a big deal, but it's a little bit fiddly. Hopefully you can see it okay. I'm, I'm trying to get the best camera view, but I'm not sure it is the best view hands probably in the way for some of the time, for most of the time or something, I don't know, but... Okay. That one's actually gone quite easy, that's good. Come on, get on there. I want to turn the whole thing around, including that tab. I don't want the tab to turn. Just try and hold it down. Come on, stay there. I'm just worried about doing these up too tight and snapping it because they are only copper. So, uh, anyway, right, that's on. So, hopefully, they're all tight enough. I mean, the bottom ones aren't as tight because I couldn't get to them so well, but um, I think they're okay. They better be okay. Um, so, yeah, right, that's all that's back on there. So, there you go, it's been done properly now for those people which commented. Catch you later, have a good one.